Hi everyone, Nigel Saunders here. Today I'm switching gears and I'm going to be working on the plant room. My first task for today is to finish the insulation on the roof. I ran out of insulation last time I was doing the job, so now I've got more. I've got two pieces to add in the corner here and then over on this side of the roof, I've got three spaces to fill. After I've got the insulation up in the ceiling, I'll have to add some more vapor barrier to seal off that section of the roof. And then that'll probably be it for the roof until next spring. I have all these large panels of mahogany underlay here that I will be putting on the roof eventually, but it's too dangerous a job to do it when the plants are in the plant room. So that's gonna have to wait till spring. My other task for today is to get the vapor barrier up on this end wall so it'll seal it up against moisture. I'll start today by removing this LED light that Bryce sent me from Bitterroot Bonsai. I'm going to, instead of attaching to the wall, I'm going to put something over that rolling table so the light moves with the table. I think that makes more sense, so I'll have to do that in future. There we go. Put it away safely. All right, that's done. My next task is to stack all these mahogany underlay sheets vertical so I can put them flat against the wall. I'll put them against this wall for now, and then when I've got them vertical, I'll put them against the back wall. Luckily, these panels are very lightweight. This will help make the room a little bigger because these didn't fit in here, so I was losing a bit of floor space. Okay. With all the sunshine today, it's getting really warm in here, so I've turned the heat off, I took my sweater off, and that should keep me cool. The next job is to do some vacuuming on the floor. I've been trying to keep the floor and the plant room clean, but when you're working on your bonsai trees, there's always leaves falling off and debris falling off. And yeah, so I'll have to do some vacuuming. First, I'll get the broom and sweep up everything I can. I've got this old beat up R2 unit here that should do the job for vacuuming. So here I go. The vacuuming's done so much better with a nice clean plant room floor. I'm wondering if I can stack the mahogany panels behind there now. I'll try one and see if it works. All right, let's give this a try. I don't know if they will, but it would be nice. So it's gotta go into a boat there. All right, here goes number two. Here's that bottom edge, so it, it, there's not enough room for it to go down. I'm just one panel too many. But that that's, gets them out of the way there. That's really good. I'm ready to put the insulation in now. Now I've got to get a ladder in here and there's not a lot of space. So I'm going to have to move my table and the heater and the fan out of here to create a little more space in the room so I've got room to put the ladder up. All right, that's in. I'll put it in the corner over here. Just like that. Let's see how that works. Oh, that's pretty good. I can get up there. So I'll have to take some of this vapor barrier down. I, uh, I didn't put a lot of staples in it, so get my insulation up there. I'll have to measure out how long I want the bats. I've got everything I need. I've got my tape measure. 
I've got a bread knife for cutting the insulation and a screwdriver for taking out the old staples that hold in the vapor barrier. So I'll measure my cavities and then I'll cut it outside, I think. About 24 inches. I think both 24 inches will work for both. Um, the end one there is a little shorter, it's narrower. I'll have to cut some off the side of the insulation because I used 16 inch stud centers all the way across and the end ones, it didn't work out to 16. So uh, a little bit of custom cutting. I don't know what that width is. That one needs to be about 11 inches. All right, let's get cutting insulation. All the insulation that's left over, I'll be doing the roof out in the porch there. I'll have to put up insulation and vapor barrier out there too. I'm going to have a busy summer next, next year, that's for sure. I've got the insulation in the front seat of the truck. So I'm thinking if I shovel out the back of the truck, I can kind of use that as a workbench. The front seat's full and the back seat has the gas tank in there. So it's a pretty full truck. I'm going to start by cleaning off the truck with the snow brush and then I'll shovel out the back of the bed. How's it going guys? Good. Thanks for doing the driveway there, Kevin. <laughs> that was nice. That's quite a lot of snow we got. shoveling. I'm almost done, I'll just finish up with a little brushing in here, try and get as much snow out as possible. I've got the back of the truck all cleaned out, best I can anyway, and now I'll get the insulation out. All right, I'll measure my 23 inches right to here and cut it off.
All right, there's the first one cut, 23 inches. The next one, it looks about the same. It is, look at that. That's good. And then I've got to cut it to an 11 inch width. So I'll bring it to about here. And I know I'm not using metric, but my tape measure is only in inches. And everything in building materials is pretty well still done in inches around here. I don't know why, but I guess it's hard to break the habit. Okay, there's my two pieces to start off with. I'll just put this extra piece down the side here. And now it's back inside. I think my camera lens is still a bit fogged up, but here goes piece number one. Up we go. And I'll have to stuff it in this way first. And up into the roof. It's a little big, but it'll fit. <laughs> Yeah, that one's in pretty good now. That'll stop my vented ceiling from you know, all the cold air dumping out into the room here. So it should make it quite a bit warmer in here. All right, piece number two now. All right, this one should fit a little nicer. There, that's fitting really, really nicely. That gets that corner done. I still have to put up the vapor barrier though. I'll restaple this one and then I've got to add a piece on to the end here where I ran short. I'll staple my vapor barrier back up there now. I will cut a little piece of vapor barrier from the upper corner there. There's a section missing. My vapor barrier needs to be roughly be about 14 here. Fourteen by twenty-four, so To about here. That'll give me lots of overlap. Now I just gotta get the plastic started in this direction for some reason. There we go. There we go. Gives me double what I need, actually. I should have cut it shorter. But I need a piece for the other side, too, so I'll cut it in half. Yeah, I meant to do that. Not really. But... All right. Up goes my vapor barrier. I've got this corner of the room done, so now it's time to tackle this side. So to start on this side, I've got to move all my stuff off the shelf here so I can stand on there to get up there. All right, just made a ladder. Oh, I got to move all my watering stuff, my fertilizer, my spray bottles. 
the plants are getting a nice sunny day today. It's really good for them. I'm going to do some kind of a stone planting, I think, in this little pot I made. I, uh, I really like this pot and yeah, I, I think some kind of stone. I just have to find the right one. Kind of a small miniature mountain stone or something. There's where my scissors were. There's a view of the winter sun shining on the plants. Yeah, really nice to see them in the sun. All right, I'm going to go up and measure how big my remaining pieces need to be. They're all about the same. Hopefully there's a 24 inches. Yeah, so I can just cut those bats in half. So I need three of them. All right, back outside. I've got my three pieces of insulation cut. There. Okay, that's much better. Now I should be able to get that up in place. Should be a piece of cake. So I'm still maintaining my air gap at the top of the insulation. These are six inch pieces for eight inch roof joists. So I got one more to go here. So let's get this one up now. And that will seal in the room. I won't be getting cold air coming in anymore. I want to put as much tension on the plastic as I can. In both directions. And here we go. That's not too bad. Something like that, Nigel. Something like that. I'll get one up in here. And maybe one in the middle. Like that. That's better. Now I can come out along this beam and put one in right here. Like that. And come along the wall here. I'm going to try using some tuck tape and I'll see how well it lasts holding the vapor barrier, kind of sealing it. Kind of a test and if it works well I'll use that for all the rest of the room. It was Marisol who suggested using the tuck tape so I'll give it a try. So I'm putting the tuck tape down across the seams and I'm hoping that seals, seals it in so the moisture from the room can't get into the insulation. But we will see in the future how well it does. I'm getting the afternoon sun in the plant room now. So pretty well all the plants are in sunshine. That should really help them along. Any sunny day in winter is a, a bonus. I did decide to put the tuck tape up in the other corner too. I thought I'd better seal that new panel in just so it's not getting vapor going through there. It's not totally sealed the vapor barrier, but uh, this spring or this summer, I will. I'll make sure it's all taped so it's basically airtight. I'm going to tackle the back wall tomorrow. I want to put the adhesive on all the beams and seal that vapor barrier right on there so it's tight as a drum. And I, I think I'd run out of time tonight. So that's all the work I'll be doing on the plant room for today. I'll resume tomorrow. So from the sunny plant room, I'm Nigel Saunders. Thanks for joining me in the Bonsai Zone. <laughs>